Hey, what's going on guys? My name is iCamerna. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and today I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on Microsoft's Xbox E3 2014 preview. But before we get straight into the video guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the like button. It really helps me out. So Microsoft held the press conference just about an hour ago by the time I'm recording this video and it's really got me pumped up. I'm actually really, yeah, I'm probably going to pick up an Xbox One this winter because of the Halo anniversary, whatever you want, collectors, all the games that Master Chief were in are coming to, over to the Xbox One. We got Halo 1, we got Halo 2, we got Halo 3, and Halo 4 with all the exact same multiplayer features that were all the original games, just upscaled in graphics and running in 60 frames per second at 1080p, all for $60. You're pretty much getting four games for 60 bucks. These games are going to be phenomenal. I, this is the main reason I'm picking up Xbox One. If there's any reason to buy the Xbox One, it's because of this announcement. They have completely sold me on picking up one. Now it has some other cool games. Of course, we got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare getting its exclusive deal with Microsoft having a month early DLC. And also The Division, another big game, if you guys don't know what that is, where the hell have you been, is also going to be getting exclusive early DLC. I imagine to be maybe two weeks to a month. We didn't hear anything from Battlefield, which is the first time in a while since I've actually haven't seen Battlefield at a uh, Xbox conference. So maybe they're getting rid of that exclusive deal with their early DLC and coming over to maybe keeping it neutral, or maybe Sony gathered that up. Not exactly sure what's going on there. Another cool game is Insomniac showed off some more footage of Sunset Overdrive and now I was really skeptical about that game when I first saw it first last year at Microsoft's E3 press conference but this time I really like the humor they're putting into the game it's keeping me pumped up and excited I'm definitely going to be picking up that game and I'm I can't believe I'm saying this guys I know I've been major Sony supporter I haven't really backed up Microsoft pretty much in any way ever since like the early days of the 360 but they really changed my mind the next step forward is to make a new iteration of the Xbox one console what I mean by that make a slim version the console is still too damn big but they had a great software lineup and overall compared to this e3 conference compared to last year I think it could be one of the best e3 conferences Microsoft has ever done like I really enjoyed what was going on Phil Spencer is a great new lead from Microsoft and they really understood what we want e3 is about games okay there's not moms and dads watching this conference it's me and you the gamers of the community the people that buy your console they get the public out there to know maybe you should pick up a ps4 or an xbox one so they really hit the nail on the head by showing us only games of course they did not talk about the connect but if you guys did not know the connect is dropped from the xbox one you can now pick it up for 3.99 same price as the ps4 so that's a pretty damn good deal right there so a lot of great stuff came out of this conference guys let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite part about this year's microsoft e3 conference I'm about to watch EA's and then we're going to be heading over to the Sony conference in a couple hours. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.